I'd like to present you my new creation out of my studio. This is a recent painting, uh, 6 feet uh, by 32 inches, representing the Denali Range in the central Alaska. I have traveled to that region in the year 2009 during the September uh, month. I spent over, um, over four weeks uh, traveling through central Alaska and uh, southeast Alaska through the Wrangler Mountains. This uh, painting represents the sunset over the Denali Range uh, just before the Denali National Park. I spent a week and a half painting in this region, traveling along the Denali Highway and hiking into the mountains to photograph and paint this beautiful part of Alaska. As you can see in this painting, I'm taking a very liberal interpretation of the sky, creating a complementary contrast between the green and the pink of the sky. Such a, a contrast works very well, especially with the lower part where some of the pinks are reflected in the ponds. The red here also of the tundra and the red behind the black spruce reflects in the sky and vice versa. A light like that in the mountains can only last for five minutes. For this particular painting I took many many photographs knowing later on that I will create a large studio painting. So after having uh, painted for the whole day, for the whole day, I drove my jeep into the location which I scouted uh, prior to it, set up my tripod, and started shooting as the light was descending. With that, I arrived at about 200 photographs, which gave me a very reasonable um, base for creating. Uh, a large studio work like that. Of course, living and painting on the location for several days is, in my view, mandatory to creating a successful studio work. Working only from photographs cannot be a very successful undertaking. It's just a reproduction. When you live and work right on the spot, when you're experiencing the weather changes, the animals that travel, a lot of time it's a grizzly that travels right beside or in front of my easel, you really learn to feel the land, this part, that particular mountain, that particular river or forest. So when I'm later on in my studio, it's like being in a library. I'm able to pull the senses, the smell of the location and remember how it felt and I'm able to apply that into the brush stroke. A brush stroke is a representation of how artist feels at the given moment. And it's one of the most difficult challenges, and I spoke about that before, to be able to recreate the feeling that you have when you are in the field later on in a studio work.